This is really about competition causing price decrease because biosimilar rituximab is never going to outdo rituximab. They're biosimilars. They actually are going to do the same thing. Biosimilar filgrastim isn't going to outdo filgrastim. They do the same thing. They're biosimilar molecules. The idea is to create competition in the marketplace that's going to result in a cost savings. That was actually the motivation for Congress to even in, to develop a biosimilar pathway. I mean, the biosimilar pathway didn't come about because, oh, someone wanted to do it. It was actually legislated, just like generics for conventional drugs were, was legislated. Um, they, there was a legislation that enabled the, the FDA to create guidelines that uh, oversee the development of biosimilars. When we develop the guidelines, we are asked to develop the guidelines in a cost-insensitive way. We're supposed to try to come up with what we think is the best clinical care. But if that clinical care, the same exact high-quality clinical care, can be delivered at a lower cost, it's going to allow for continued innovation and uh, improvement in the marketplace. So it's right for this sort of audience. Uh, this audience is going to be meeting biosimilars in their practices. Um, they need to understand what they are and how to incorporate them in a way that continues to add value to their patient um, and uh, uh, provide optimum care.